The chair recognizes Representative Chatfield. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the opportunity as a teacher, uh, a former teacher, to speak to House Bill 4822 and to lend my support of it. Now, I'm assuming that every single person in this chamber believes passionately in the importance of allowing local school districts the flexibility of implementing state standards. At the same time, I think we all are passionate believers in accountability and ensuring that our school districts are doing what's best for our children. Now, where that line meets always has been and always should be at the heart of any discussion we have regarding education. And this bill is no different. This bill is about identifying early on and at, a, at an early stage reading difficulties our children may have and at the same time providing necessary intervention and necessary tools to cure any problems that we see. Because reading is a building block to learning. Now, this legislative body earlier this year already proved the importance that we place on education. In overwhelming support, I was with this chamber in voting for a record high $13.9 billion to our school aid fund. Now, with that record high appropriation come basic benchmarks and basic expectations that we have with it. Now, speaking of expectations, I gave this quote in committee, and I'm going to give it again right now. To quote my grandpa Chatfield, I always grew up hearing him say this, people do what you inspect, not what you expect. And I think it's time, Mr. Speaker, that this legislative body start inspecting a little more closely the reading levels of our children. At the same time, it's important that we understand, and I fully acknowledge as a former teacher and now as a policymaker, there's no silver bullet to education. There's no one bill that's going to be the cure-all to all our educational challenges that we face here in Michigan. So we must ask ourselves this very important question. Does the bill that's before us, does House Bill 4822, move the ball forward for our children in the state of Michigan? And I firmly believe that it does. This bill places such a high emphasis on early intervention, much more than retention. But for those concerned with retention, my response is this. I'd rather hold a child back for one grade than hold a child back for life. I urge you and my colleagues to all vote in favor of House Bill 4822. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Representative Chatfield.